And now Iran, where officials say two people were killed during protests in the capital, Tehran, on Monday. Rallies had been called to show support for the uprisings in Egypt and Tunisia, but the government declared them illegal. And then this, politicians, some of them, calling for the execution of opposition MPs who they claim were behind the protests. This is inside the Iranian parliament, absolute chaos, where lawmakers were chanting death to Mir Hussein Mousavi and death to Mahdi Karoubi. Dosa Jabari has more. Emboldened by events in Egypt, protesters returned to the streets of Tehran, the opposition's first major show of strength in more than a year. They number just a couple of thousand, but their message is clear. Death to the dictator, they chant. Political prisoners should be freed. And as before, the demonstrations are monitored and then broken up by security forces. In this video, which cannot be independently verified, a man believed to be a plain-clothed policeman removes a protest band. He is then set on and beaten by the crowd. As protesters try to march through the city, police fire tear gas and rubber-coated bullets. Protesters say pepper spray is also used against them. There are reports of dozens of injuries. This video is believed to show a man wounded in the clashes. One man is reported killed, Iranian media blaming the protesters for the shooting. I would bet on the process that the Egyptian military has announced going forward as being a pathway to a different future, whereas I look with such dismay at what Iran continues to do and just feel my heart goes out to the Iranian people. It's claimed this video was shot in the city of Shiraz. Opposition political leaders say they are prevented by police from leaving their homes to join the march. MPs are urging Sadek Larajani, the head of the country's judiciary, to bring Mir Hussein Mousavi and Mehdi Karoubi before a court to answer for their part in Monday's events. Meanwhile, the Speaker of Parliament, Ali Larajani, has praised the country's security forces and interior ministry in their way of handling the situation. Details have emerged about the victim. He is 26-year-old Sane Jale, an art student who, according to State Television, was shot and killed by protesters. His funeral is due to take place on Wednesday. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera, Tehran.